Good morning. Kev here. And by here I mean I am at Jake's for opening day. Yeah. For you it's a separate video. Uh, for me it's the same day as the Blue Ridge opening. And it's not cold, it's like 39, but it is windy and it feels very hurtful. But we are here, we're gonna uh, make the best of it. Sorry for any wind noise, but I'm gonna do what I can. Let's go see what trouble we can get into. As soon as I get here, holy cow. Iron and rust and patina. That thing is rough, but uh, man, oh man. This is definitely my jam. A little cowboy scale of action. Pretty much anything, man. You can find it all in here. My favorite thing to do is to dig around. <clears throat> I do like uh, finding my stuff, but. artistic talent to do stuff like this because then I would have even less space to do my other activities. I think probably 40 pounds of uh, horseshoes but a Tiffany lamp, classic singer. Nine times out of ten, those things actually still work. Oh, I see that. That's cool. I love to see repurposed things like that. Yeah, a lot of different I don't odd, know. peculiar ones, you know? Did you make this? No, I did not. That is neat, though. Yeah, it is neat. the kind of stuff I like to hang So these the are wall. five each, that's ten, that's ten, that's ten. And yeah. that's a huge argument. Yeah, right? That's a huge argument with my wife. <laughs> About? Why is this hanging from my wall right now? <laughs> do you even know what it is? No, I don't, honey. What do you get for the... Uh... Uh, ten. Those are cool. Yeah. I don't know what half of this stuff does, but I like it. I always see the uh, people hand make them and they sell for like millions of dollars. Like that's crazy to me. Yeah. Here, here's a good one. Here's a, here's a nice 18, uh, 1891. Nice. I do like when they have the lids, but what do you get for this monster? This mon I'm actually only asking 60 bucks for that one. That's not too bad. Birmingham Stove Company. Huh. 
it's nice. That much for vintage, but still cool to see. I used to be really into all these things. My mom's like a Saturn. My mom sold my 64 at a yard sale for a couple bucks. Classic Nintendo. This stuff is not cheap these days, man. And pretty sure my mom gave away all mine. too much but I see the rust <laughs> probably can't use them anymore but cool but look I I watch that on my shelf every day. Not exactly cooking cast iron, but I love this stuff. I'm definitely interested. I was eyeing this up from afar. That thing is rough, but how cool is that? I have that in the backyard and my wife could bring it for us when it's time for grub. We could pretend we live on a farm. It's got some condition issues, but that is a federal diaper pail. It just pops with color. Scale. Oh jeez, my, my only radio. The only radio of the day, cousin, sorry. Is in this right here. Every, it, it's a complete cow. stove. I, I'm, I, I'm I've actually I've actually got that uh tied shut right there. So oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm not gonna touch it because I don't I don't even want to know the price. <laughs> a railroad. I'm trying to get five hundred bucks, but those are all extra doors and extra grates. Look how, look how ornate it is. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Oh my gosh. Isn't that freaking cool? I need this in my garage. It when I'm out horsing around. I know. <laughs> I'd probably burn work. down the house. I'd put two logs in there. The thing probably uh, heats up a hole. Oh, absolutely. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Where'd you find something like that? All over. I actually found that under a trailer, under a house trailer. A sign. 50 pound, 50 no, pound sign. I bet you that's closer to 80. Dang. I love the old rusty stuff, oh, man. I do too. I do too. You don't, uh, do you have any old uh, camping skillets? Nothing like that? Not today, at least. So, Some more fans. <laughs> People keep telling me about the axe heads. I don't see any marking, but maybe yeah, some of you experts can tell me what an idiot I was for not buying this. It's freaking wild, wild pictures. I gotta print them out. Oh, yeah. Carpet. Ashtray, black cast iron. Does that mean it's newer? I don't know. I need the experts to chime in. 
some more instruments. Oh. oh my god. And it was just you, it was just the two of you. Yeah, yeah, mom would let me take her out. Yeah. And then uh, a little further down the street there was a small uh, park. Take Giant her down there and copper for a while. pot yeah. and The wind is keeping all the smart people home. I definitely had that one. The eight-year-old in me is like, holy cow. I don't want him. And then the 70-year-old in me is like, hmm, that would warm up your garage. So on cool these, spread. Man, it's too expensive. Like, I want to buy some for my son, but all the all the crap that I used to play with is like collectible now. Yeah. Like, I had this exact one. And, we uh, all had them. You I'm know? scared. Destroy I'm them. scared to ask. And I'm, I'm the generation before you. Well, what, what do you get, What do you get for something like that? Forty five. And it's probably worth it all day. But man, my kids, it would last one summer. <laughs> I, might, I might as well light the money on fire. But seeing it in that condition, like, do you clean them up or do you restore them? Or? No, these are these are all original condition. Wow. I That's... just picked them up because I'm a, a steam shovel guy. So these are all the extra things that I don't really collect, but you find them while you're looking for your steam shovels. Now when you preserve them and pass them on, I like that. This is our first time actually selling in a flea market. You don't think about uh, doing it on, online, on the internet? No, because it's just a pain in the ass. Yeah. Wow. We're not to the point where we're making a living at it. Maybe when it gets to that point, but it's a hobby. Oh, nice. It's amazing me how most of the old stuff still works just oh, yeah. fine. Better just than new shit. To say I brought the wrong vehicle this morning, uh, yeah, that's an understatement. Giant Dutch oven, real smart cab, and then parked next to this old Chrysler Newport, which is very cool. It's like a land yacht. I should have drove that. All right, made it back from Jake's on their opening day. Um, actually, just like uh, Blue Ridge, they probably didn't have many people on Saturday because of weather it was real bad like lots of rain in the East Coast so Sunday that's when I went hooray and it was pretty pretty good again fairly windy but it was in the mid 40s so it didn't suffer too bad I always got my trusty layers of dad clothes on um, saw a bunch of just really cool handmade stuff and then uh, I saw a couple stoves that I got Hope you enjoyed those too because I mean I don't have $500 laying around but wow that would be awesome to have a giant stove from a locomotive warming up my house so anyways scored a couple things here 
these usually have glass lids. It's a hammered guardian, guardian wear. Small, probably like a two quart. Very cool. Wagner, Birmingham. Probably a number seven. Number seven Lodge. Heavy, but very nice users. You can see how smooth it's going to be. And I didn't even get a chance to work my magic. This thing, I don't usually buy enameled unless it's in good condition. And I've seen worse. It says made in France, but it doesn't say La Crusade on it, which tells me it's probably Coussins, which was bought by La Crusade in 1957 for all the people that really give a care which is like four or five of you this was uh this was hidden the guy selling it was like selling just really cool stuff like tractor seats and old posts and like and irons just everything just rusty and beautiful and he pretty much gave that to me so that was a decent little pickup that thing walking around with that was fun it's old Birmingham stove and range 13 and a half inch it's a number 12 not too bad condition no major issues it's not really smooth in there but when you're doing a nice stew or soup or roast you don't really care but that was uh I think it's huge and heavy and was on the other side of the market, but whatever. I need the exercise. And that thing, it's not quite super duper vintage, but I saw it laying there next to a broken excavator. And lady gave me a good deal on it, so that's not to flip. That's basically for my boys to probably break by the end of the summer. But Whoever played with this actually played like a normal human, which I know my kids will not, but whatever. As long as they have fun, might as well just light that money on fire, but we'll do it outside and have some fun. That's my booty. It was fun. It's glad to be back in action in Pennsylvania. I missed it. Thank you for coming along. And as always, this is Cast Iron Kev, and I think we'd all do better.